you can put the luggage right uh... <laughs> there would be fine too girls this room looks nothing like the pictures in the brochure oh this room isn't good enough for you well not for a hundred dollars a night americans you measure everything by the almighty dollar well we're trying to learn the metric system it's not that easy <laughs> This place is like a sweat box. Oh, great. The air conditioner's not working. Well, who needs air conditioning? We have a fresh ocean breeze and a breathtaking view. <laughs> we have no view. Oh. When the revolution comes and the heads of the imperialist swine are impaled on sticks stuck in the sand for the peoples to spit on, you'll be glad you don't got a view. <laughs> Oh, well, this isn't solving anything. I'm going to call the manager. Hello? Hello? Great. The phone's dead. Eh, it makes no difference. You'd only get lies from that scum-sucking pig. <laughs> Look, would you mind going downstairs and telling the scum-sucker we want to see him? <laughs> okay. But his days are numbered. When the revolution comes, he's the second to be shot. Who's the first? Morales, my next door neighbor who knocked up my sister. <laughs> well, this is dandy. Just dandy. I knew I should never have let you two talk me into coming to this godforsaken place. Oh, come off it, Blanche. We all agreed that this was where we wanted to spend our vacation. All I wanted was a tan on my thighs. Now I'll probably end up a prisoner of the revolution. They'll rip my blouse and make me cook for the officers and spit food in my face and make fun of my recipes. And eventually I'll catch the eye of some fat general with big sweat stains under his arms. And he'll force me to let out his uniforms and satisfy his ugly needs. It sounds like Christmas with my ex-husband. What you two are complaining about, I'm the one who's going to suffer the most from this. With no air conditioning, I'll get all wilted and sweaty. No man will even talk to me. And even if one does, how am I going to get a date without a telephone? The way you always do. Go sit in the bar without underwear. <laughs> Good evening. How are you? I'm Jacques Decoville, manager of the Wrestling Palms and uh, reigning out in Limbo King. Oh, please, please, come in. Come All right, in. I'm in, so talk to me, ladies. What's the problem here? Well, to begin with, Mr. Decoville, in here it says that every room in the hotel has an ocean view. Now, where is ours? Here, come, here. come here, get up. Here, over here. <laughs> Stick your head out the window. And you look to the extreme left, and what do you see? Two guys beating up an old lady. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> the ocean? Ta da! I rest my case. Now, wait, wait. You call that an ocean view? You have to be a contortionist to see. Hey! It doesn't say great ocean view. Now, look, these accommodations are simply unacceptable. Now, we want the room described in the brochure, or we will take our business elsewhere. Okay. Have it your way. But don't expect a refund. <laughs> We just checked in. We haven't paid for this room. Uh, yes, we have. I'm sorry, but my travel agent said it would be easier if we prepaid everything. Believe me, it is. What do we do now? We have no choice. So we have to stay. Oh, no goody! Now look, ladies, you need anything, anytime, day or night. You call me. Well, we can't. The phone is dead. Well, there's plenty of stationery in the bureau drawer. Write me. <laughs> Oh, I'm starting to root for the revolution. Well, we're here now. Come on, let's make the best of it. Yeah, maybe this room isn't a total loss. Look here, a vibrating bed. Come on, let's give it a try. Oh, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on. It'll be fun. Sure. Uh, All right, you ready? Yeah. Okay. Quanto? 